Hey, Dr. Drew here, and uh, snoring and sleep apnea are one of the more common problems we see in medical practice, uh, both from uh, a multiplicity of conditions. You're well aware that it's not as though uh, all snoring and all sleep apnea is one thing, but the final common pathway of that that uh, transthoracic pressure that people suffer from every night and the hypoxemia, of course, we're all aware of the profound cardiopulmonary effects, the profound neurological effects, the profound psychiatric effects. And I can't tell you how often I'm asking patients to take care of this, to either perhaps get a, uh, perhaps a mandibular advancement device or other sorts of ways of managing the airway and see if we can get that palate from dropping down or things to create positive pressure to push through so we're not having all that transthoracic pressure, there's issues associated with that. Uh, and of course, getting people to lose weight and obviously the, the pressure with uh, weight around the neck and of course on, uh, on the abdomen and on the chest as well are all creating these imbalances that result in that pressure gradient we're associated with hearing that sound of snoring. And of course, snoring just even routinely is disruptive of sleep hygiene. And of course, when you have the sleep apnea on top of that, you have some very serious stuff. So uh, I'm all with you. <laughs> Whatever you can do to give us options to offer patients because they're, they aren't rushing to use positive pressure uh, oxygen flow uh, devices. Uh, they don't like the CPAP. They don't like the nasal BiPAP. They don't like the, the f wearing anything that uh, is on their face or creates a hissing noise at night. Uh, and yet I'm constantly at people to uh, find ways to solve the problem. And of course, time goes by and the cumulative effects of these chronic, uh, chronic conditions uh, add up over time. And it's, you know, I think um, the public is not quite as aware as they should be about uh, how much this has a profound effect on our overall, not just well-being, but of course, more serious uh, cardiac and even pulmonary complications. So thank you for doing the work and uh, 